Hello and welcome to TDE Design and Build. In this video, I am going to show you how to use a really simple industrial steel tubing system to create a micro studio workstation for design, gaming or editing. I built the whole workstation on a budget of just £140, which is pretty good value for a heavy duty workstation. Firstly, I want to explain my reasons for using this design. I wanted to create a workspace in the spare room which would support the weight of two 27 inch monitors which weigh five kilograms each. I didn't want to screw the monitors into the wall as the walls in the house are modern, flimsy stud walls. So I decided to use steel tubes mounted between the ceiling and the floor to take the weight of the screen and the desk. I wanted to be able to choose between a sitting and standing desk so no problem adjusting the height using this system. I always listen to music while I work so I want a place for my speakers Again, no problem fitting those. I don't like wires everywhere, so the tubes are great for hiding the wires, which minimizes clutter. I want to be able to adapt the desk later on. Using the tubing system, I can clamp shelves above the monitors, put a bigger desk on, or even integrate a PC later on. Using a system like this means it is easy to modify, suit my changing needs, and I can easily pack it up if ever I need to move somewhere else. So now let's talk about the materials. The key clamp system is relatively cheap. Depending on the supplier, I used keyclampstore.com as they have the most competitive prices that I could find. The system is really heavy duty and highly adaptable. You can literally bolt anything to it using many different types of fittings. You can make all sorts of stuff out of key clamp, whether it's a desk, bed, clothing hanger, table, garage storage, or even gym equipment. This stuff is cheap, and very versatile. I will put links and prices in the description. And here we'll look at the raw materials. We've got these parts called wall plates, adjustable tees, long tees, and the tubing, which is called size six tubing or type B tubing, which is 34 millimeters in diameter. Now, the key systems do have a range of different tube sizes, so depending on what you're making, depends on what sort of size tubing you use. I use screen mount arms made by Vision. These have sprung pistons in and can be moved into many different positions, and they cost around £80. Now you don't need to use these and there's much cheaper screen mounts so it is actually possible to bring the costs of this entire desk right down just by using a very simple type of screen mount. So now let's talk about the assembly. The first thing you need to do is cut the bars to length. I cut two lengths of 2.4 meters and four lengths at 400. If you do not have a metal cutting saw you might find your supplier will cut them into lengths for you. You can use a disc cutter, hacksaw, or in my case, I use a Milwaukee bandsaw. Hiding the wires is a must for any clean workstation, so I marked out the holes on the tubing where I wanted the holes to go. I used masking tape to make sure the holes were 30 millimeters apart. I used a punch to pip for the drill and piloted with a four mil drill bit before going all the way with the multi-hole tool. The bandsaw I used to cut out the material between the holes, this left me a 15 by 30 millimeter slot, which on the first hole was slightly butchered, but nothing a file couldn't fix. And 
I sanded down the tube and deburred the sharp edges. Then sprayed a primer undercoat on. I left this to dry in the sun for a while and got some matte black spray and finished the tubing with a nice black finish. Once the paint was dry, I started to put all the fittings over the tube. I did this carefully because I didn't want to scratch the paint. Once the fittings were on, I put the monitor arms on. The monitor arms happen to be the exact same size fittings as the 34mm tubing. It might not be what they're designed for, but it's a really nice coincidence that they fit on the same size bar that I'm using. It makes the whole job really simple and tidy. Once everything is on, I start lining up the bars in the room. My start point was to fix the wall plates to the ceiling. Don't just screw it into the plasterboard, that won't do. Go into the loft and secure an off cut of 18mm ply between the joists. That will hold the upstands in place nicely. I made sure they were equal distance from the wall, 130mm in this case. With the arms on, you want to set them so that they line up nicely side by side. For my screens, I found this distance to be 760mm. So wall plates are fixed, now it's time to plumb the bars. For this I used a boat level. You will notice that this is ideal for levelling steel tube as it has a magnet and is pretty much designed for this task. Once everything is level, I screw it into the floor with 30mm screws. Again, be careful not to use long screws on your floor as you could drill into a pipe or a wire. Once that is done, I used the F14 quick release pipe couplings to fit the desk on. I didn't want to drill holes in the solid oak worktop in case I change my mind later and want to use the oak for something else. So I glued the worktop to the couplings. At least this way, if I change my mind, I can just break the couplings off and sand down the glue off of the wood. I use a two foot spirit level to make sure the desk is level in both directions. The good thing with this key clamp system is that you can just undo the Allen keys, give it a push and move it into position. Key clamp tubing also comes with plastic end caps. They're about 20p each, uh, really cheap, but if you don't want unsightly open pipes facing into the room, you just squash these little inserts in and they give it a nice little finish and hide any saw cut edges. Once all that is fixed, I thread the wires through the holes and get those ready to fit. Next, I add the 27 inch screens and level those using a level. I don't really want wonky screens, so I go a little bit OCD here, making sure that they're bang on. After that, I fit the speakers, again using the quick release couplings. I opened up the speakers, drilled clearance holes through for the couplings and bolted them from the inside. Once they are on, I added a temporary MDF under tray for the stereo extension lead and excess cables. I plan to design and build a powerful bespoke design PC with the stereo inside the same enclosure. This will reduce all the clutter in the wires and hopefully look pretty good. And that will be a future video. If you stayed all the way to the end, thank you. So if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, share and let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you.